Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Crystal. I do DIYs, reviews, hauls, and much more. So today's video, I wanted to share with you um, some of the items I packed for our road trip to New Mexico back in January. This was all before um, COVID happened, so um, keep in mind that this was way before all of that when things were normal and safe to travel and all that stuff. So if you want to see what I packed um, for our trip, um, please keep watching. So the luggage that I took with me was an actual um, roller luggage. Um, I know some people say to take like bags and stuff because of the snow. We did go in January, um, so it was snowing when we went to New Mexico. Um, I do recommend taking a bag if you're worried about um, your luggage getting wet with the snow. I didn't have any of that issue because my roller bag has uh, two handles on it so we just lifted it up when we went inside to the hotel. Um, I did spray all my luggage, my luggages, my um, shoes and jackets with um, like a waterproof repellent or water repellent spray. If you can find it, I will list it down below. Everything that I took with me, I will try to list it down below. Some of the stuff I've had for years, so it might not be available anymore, but I will um, list the links below for the items that are rarely, fairly new and that I bought for this um, trip. Now, in terms of clothing, my main focus for this trip was to go the layering route for everybody. Um, so the main things that I took were layering pieces. So the first thing that I want to talk about that's a layering piece is actually the base layers. So I purchased these base layers uh, from Target. They are by the brand Champion. I actually got these in kids because I can fit in uh, kids extra large. Uh, these are um, a little bit on the thin side so I wore these when it wasn't as cold outside. On colder days, this version of base layers from REI and also a thicker base layer again also from REI. So in all I took three sets of black base layers for myself and my kids as well. For the trip over there, I wore the European like joggers that have fleece inside. I got these so comfortable. I'm so glad I bought them. Um, so, so, so comfortable. I even wore these as a base layer, I think, um, on one of the days that we were out. So yeah. you are going to need wool socks if you're going to be in the snow because they will keep your feet so warm. Regular clothing goes, I just took um, just long sleeves that I can put over my base layer and if I was um, really cold then I just put another sweater. Just did the whole layering thing. I took two sets of jackets just in case one did get really wet due to the snow. The main jacket that I did wear was my Prana jacket. I'm not sure if we bought this one at REI or not, but if I can find it, I will list it down below. It's a really thick jacket. I believe it is water resistant, but I did spray it as well. Um, has good pockets, um, and it has a hoodie. This hoodie is not detachable though. I'm a hoodie type of girl <laughs> so all my jackets have hoodies um, so yeah that was my main jacket that I wore I even wore it in the snow but on again uh, days that weren't so warm or days that we were gonna hike or anything like that um, I wore a different jacket which is the wrap jacket and it looks like this very warm and lightweight jacket not too poofy but very warm it doesn't take up that much space either because you can actually roll it into like a small size pillow very travel friendly 
So yeah, those are the two jackets I wore. Also took another type of jacket. This is my fleece one. If it got really, really cold. Um, my mother-in-law got me this one from Japan. It's reversible, so you can either do the really thick side or the more smooth side. I don't know where she got this, so I cannot... Uh, Link it down below, but a nice fleece layer is good to go under your jacket as well when it's really, really cold. Going out, I basically took like chunky sweaters. This was the main one that I wore to go out and then just wore my base layers underneath. I did take like two pairs of jeans, but I didn't really wear jeans that much because it was so cold and what we were doing, it wasn't really like jean like a tire I guess. For the snow, uh, my kids did, we did buy them um, bibs. I believe their brands are the Marymount and Columbia. I will link them down below so you can see what they look like. Mine is also a Mar Marmont and they look like this. For shoes, I took the Morel boots and my Nikes, and that was it for shoes. Uh, I mainly wore these every day um, because we were either playing in the snow or going hiking and seeing things outside, um, outdoor stuff. So these are the shoes. They are really water resistant. I'm not, if, I'm not quite sure, but I, again, everything will be linked down below. Um, they were very comfortable. They did keep my feet a little warm but I think if I didn't wear my wool socks they wouldn't be as warm because they're not that insulated but I really like them they don't look like normal hiking boots they look kind of fashionable so they did look good with jeans for the car I would mainly wear my Nikes this is what I wore traveling up to New Mexico and back Okay, and of course I took ex warm accessories, and I'm talking about like hats, beanies, um, gloves, and stuff like that. So here was one that I took. This is just my extra one, just in case my other one got um, wet for any reason. That's the main thing you want to worry about, is taking extra clothes just in case you get Not wet. Tiny. My main beanie that I really, really love is this one. It's by Adidas. I took inner fleece gloves. I don't know the brand. I don't even know where they're at because my husband put them away somewhere. So um, they are a fleece inner glove. And then I got some snow gloves, or mittens rather, to put over my regular gloves. Of course, I only used those when we were in the snow and mainly stuck with the fleece gloves um, when we were like walking. I did take a scarf with me, but I didn't even use it. Um, but it's something to take just in case you do get cold and want to use the scarf. But I didn't use one personally. So yeah, those are the main clothing items and footwear that I took for the trip. Um, so all of my entertainment was basically packed in this Nine West bag. I really love this bag for traveling. Um, I can separate um, both my kids and my stuff in here. It um, has a bunch of compartments and not only can you do it this way, you can change it into a long strap. But I use mine as a backpack. They came in handy during my trip. And this is my purse that I technically use all the time. Especially with my two little ones. Um, so recommend this bag. For my girls, I will show you a video of what I packed for them. It was mainly binder, full of paper, um, stickers, drawing stuff. Um, and that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed all the things. Um, that I shared with you today. If, if this video was helpful in deciding you what to take for your family trip, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so that way you can see more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified on my next video, which another one is going to be up explaining all the places that we went to. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!